Hello, welcome back. It's Leonard here again from vitalenard.com and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to create a Facebook fan page. Now, one of the easiest and cheapest way out there of advertising your product, your businesses online is using the Facebook ads. And in order to be able to advertise on Facebook, your, your profile alone, your Facebook profile, can't do that for you. You need to have a fan page. Whether you're doing it for your business or you're doing it for a client's business, you need to have access to either that client's fan page or Facebook page or your own page for your business. So in order to do that, all you just need to do is first, you need to have a Facebook account and once you log into your Facebook account, you need to locate where this button is, where you say create. So we are going to create, what we are creating today is a fan page that we can use to run all of our advertisement online. So we just click on the create and once we click on create, all you just need to do is to click on this page. We are creating a Facebook fan page and what we want to do is to create the business or brand page. This is the category we are going with. So all I just need to do now is to click on get started and here is where you are going to add your Facebook name, the name that you want your, your fan page to carry, either the, the name of your business, the name of your company, or whatever you want that to be. So you are going to input in the name here. So mine, I'll just put in um, the name of my brand here. And for the category, this can always be addicted, but for now, we are going to add social media agency. Um, so I'll just click once you start typing all of the different categories will be listed here So you just select the one that is appropriate to um, What you want to offer or what your page or your business is all about So in my own case, I'll just go with the social media agency Once we finish creating this page, we can go ahead and add up to three categories to this So but for now, we just go with the Facebook um, social media Mid social media agency and then for our address you are going to input your address here so um my address here will just be um we'll see two and then the city is abuja abuja nigeria and then the zip code here we'll just input in your zip code so I'll just go ahead and put in the zip code. You can equally add your phone number. This will be visible to your audience um, on the, this Facebook page that you are creating. So if you want to show this address to the public, you can go ahead and leave this on check. But if you don't want to show this to the public, you just go ahead and check this so that your phone number and addresses will not be shown to the public. Whichever you want, you can always tweak this at the end of the day. So we'll just click on continue once we fill in this information correctly. All right, so now Facebook takes us to the next stage where we can actually upload um, a profile pics. And basically Facebook recommends you uploading either the picture of your brand or uh, your personal picture as the case may be. So you are going to upload that picture here and um, you continue, but I'm going to skip this stage we can always do that once we get to the facebook itself so i'm just going to skip this and then for the cover page as well because we've not created any i'm going to skip this i'm going to walk you through on how to actually create this um, cover page and on the next stage here facebook is now suggesting um, whether to get an online booking through facebook you can go ahead and schedule that here if you want to offer online booking um, depending if you're a coach, if you're a consultant, you want people to book you online, you can go ahead and schedule that. But for now, um, we'll just skip this. We'll edit all of these things when we get to the page proper. So we'll just say not now. And voila, Facebook page has been created. With this, we now have access to creating and running ads on Facebook using this fan page. It all depends on what we want to achieve. So here, Facebook recommends that you invite your friends to like your page and uh, every other thing. We are going to tweak this one after the other. So to start with, I'm just gonna close this. Um, to start with, we need to add a cover page. We need to add a profile picture here. It can either be your brand's picture, your brand logo, um, or your own personal picture. 
and then we need to add a button here a call to action button so that once somebody clicks here is either they call us or they send us message or send us an email or visit our website so all of these things are things we are going to actually optimize so in order to get the cover page and then add our logo here all we are going to do is to you go to um, a website called canva.com so with canva.com you don't need to worry about the sizes or, or the dimensions of your cover page photo so all you just need to do everything has been sized here so all i just need to do is to type in here facebook so it will give us all of the different dimensions and sizes of photos based on what you want to achieve so all we are doing is facebook cover so we are going to achieve want to achieve um get a facebook cover page that we are going to actually add up to this cover page here so that is what we want to get once i click on that cover it comes up with all of these different design pre-made templates that you can actually use and all of these are free and then if you want some premium pictures or photograph you want to use you can go ahead and pay for that um so for now all i just need to do this seems is like a simple and good design for me i just click on it and it automatically opens up in a new in a new tab so now from all indication i can download this picture without um yes i can download this without um charge if you use a premium photo here for instance if i go to the photo now this is canva for you once you click on the size of what you want to like now we are creating the facebook cover page you have all of the premium templates here that you can use you can navigate through this you have a photo tab here where you can type here any type of photo you want and as you can see some of these photos you're seeing here are free um some are paid like this is a paid so in order to download this you will need to pay some percentage to um some a little amount of money to canva to be able to use these pictures that are premium pictures majority of these pictures are free so you can actually start using uh, canva for free and use it to create um, all sort of pictures you want to but if you want to create or you want you like some of these pictures that are the premium pictures uh, you can actually subscribe um, it's, it's not that costly you can subscribe and get all of these pictures um, so through their monthly subscription you can create unlimited graphic using canva so you have some elements here that you can use to design the elements has to do with this these are text and then these are all elements it has to do with this so with this you can create whatever you want to create you can change um if i don't like this design here or let's say i don't like the color i can go ahead click here and then change the color to whatever um color that i prefer to use i can equally click on this and change the color to click on the color here and change the color to whatever i want to achieve with this and then click on the text and change the text color as well so it is this simple all you just need to do is yeah, yeah, just editing what is here already so i can click on this as well and change the color if i want to i can click on this image and then delete it all i just need to do is to press the delete button on my keyboard or i'll just press the ctrl z button to undo that and then delete it and add any other picture you want to if you want to add some elements you see all of these different elements here I think you can just click and drag and use it to achieve whatever you want to achieve so it is pretty much easier to use and as you can see this logo here or this icon here has um the canva watermark on it that means in order to use this icon i will need to to in order to use this icon i will need to remove the watermark and in order to remove the watermark i will need to pay for me to use this so i don't really need this i'm going to um, simply add my logo here so i don't need that icon the premium icon i don't need it so i'll just remove it and basically this is all that you need for now um you don't need that much so all we are just going to do is i'll just click here and change this to the name of my site digital leonard so basically you can just click on any of the title here and edit it to whatever you want you just click and change so the icon i removed here i'm going to replace that with my logo and in order to add a logo here you can just copy the image wherever you want to put it and then ctrl v to paste it here 
or you can copy from the web or from your computer so i'm just going to add my logo here so all i just need to do is to open up a folder where i have my logo here is the folder where i have my logo so i'll just click and drag this logo into this and as you can see with here it is telling you that this is actually uploading to your profile and i forgot to mention you need to create a, an account when you come in because i have an account already that's why when i clicked on it i will just log in you can create an account with either your email or your 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 facebook account you can sign up whatever it is so here if i click on this upload you see all of the photos that i've uploaded to my facebook to my canva account i can click on any of these and use it so this is the logo i just uploaded so all i just need to do is to click and drag it where i want to position it um, if I want to crop this logo, I can just click on the crop here, the crop icon, and then resize it the way I want, and resize it here again, and then just click on done. That is it. So I have been able to resize this image um, to what I want, and then just position it where I want it, and that is it. So anything I want to click, once you click on it, you see the highlight here, you can duplicate it. You can position it the way you want either you want it behind or in front of any you just click on position top middle these are all these if you want it to be transparent you just click here if i bring it down you see that the logo keep uh, you see the transparency this is for your transparency too whatsoever you want if i want to flip it i can just click here to flip it horizontally or flip it vertically depending on what i want to achieve you can always use that and then you can adjust this since this is an image you see this adjust here you can adjust the colors the contrast um the brightness you can filter this there are a whole lot of pre-made uh, presets here that you can use once you click on it for instance if i click on the image here and i click on the filter and i click on any of this you see it changes the color of that image to whatever design you want that to be so i just click on none. i like this um you can add effect once you click on this all of the different effect loads up here you can click on it and add and once you are done with it all i'm just going to do is to rename this this, this the name here is going to be what your picture is going to the once you download this picture this is the name is going to come up so i'll just click on that and change it to um my name and basically it is always good to name your pictures for um search engine sake so that when someone is searching for your business or your name online the name can always come up so all i just need to do i'm okay with this picture i want to use this for my profile um for my cover page on my facebook the facebook fan page we just created so all i just need to do is to come in here and then click on the download button here so i'll just click on the download button here because i am using a free account I may not be able to download for instance if you want to download a transparent background image you need to pay um, to be able to do that so all i need to do now when, when you try to download and it tells you pay to download or something that means you are using a premium image on your photo so you need to but if not if you see this download that means everything you're using here is free so i just need to click here to download that image so that has been successfully downloaded into our download folder so all we need to do now is to come back to our facebook page and in order to add that cover photo we just need to click here to add a cover photo now when i click on this you see different options here we can add from our photos that is a photo we have on the page already um we can add from a video if you have a video that you want to use as a cover page you can go ahead and, and upload that video here um you can upload video and photos or you can create a slideshow the slideshow simply means that you have different different images that will be sliding on your cover page here so if i click on create a slideshow it gives me the option of uploading different images that will be sliding here but for now what we are basically interested with um, is to upload a photo or a video so we'll just click on this and it will open up our system so all i need to do now is to locate where i downloaded this to which is in my download folder I'll just go there and then look for the name I'll just click on search here to actually search for that which is this and i'll click on open so once this is uploaded we can actually it fits into what we want 
so if not you can just drag it because it is the same size if you're uploading a larger image you can drag it and drop but since it's the same size that we use canva to it perfectly match the cover page so all i just need to do is to click on save and this has been saved so our page cover page has been created now the next thing i want to do is to create a logo um that i'm going to upload on the profile page here or like i can just use an image of myself i'll click on the update here and then add photo you can you know choose from photo you can add from frame you can upload so if i click on upload photo here i'll go to my system and look for the kind of photo i want to add go to my profile here and then look for the picture that i want to add and click on upload and that picture will be uploaded there you can use your logo you can use your own profile page or you once you upload the picture um you need to resize it here and position it very well and you can you know resize it here if you want it to be bigger and the rest and then reposition the picture the way you want it to be so drag it the way you want it to be and then click on save so a picture was successfully updated we have either your logo or your profile page here and then we have um, a cover page here already so we are actually making progress and here this is the name of your page and here it, it says create a page username this is very important because when you want to give out this page to a client to check out um, you will not give them um, this long URL you are seeing here so all you just need to do is to create something that is related to your Facebook so I just need to create this and then here I will go ahead and type digital learner here if it is a valid one Facebook will let us know as you can see the digital learner is actually available so we our Facebook is going to be facebook.com forward slash digital Leonard. So once people type facebook.com forward slash digital Leonard, we just it just takes them directly to our fan page. So all I just need to do once if it is not available, Facebook will tell you it's not available. You can always check and then until you get something that is related to your page, and then we we'll just need to create a username here. So our username has been created. It is not easy for people to find us on Facebook. So this has been created. This is our Facebook username. And once we click on it, you can always see Digital Leonard. So the next thing we want to do here is to actually edit this page thoroughly for people to be able to get a clue once they come to our website to get um, a clue of what we do. But before then, I'll need to add a button here so if i click on the button what do you want you want people to book with you um you want people to contact you you want people to learn more about your business you want people to shop with you download your app it all depends on what you want to achieve if you have an app on android on google play store or you have any type of app that you want people to download this is where you are going to add the link to the download page um, for my own, in my own case, I don't have an app, so I just need people to contact me. And how do I want them to contact me? I want them to call me. So if they click now, they can either call me, they can either send me a WhatsApp message, they can send me an email, or they can sign up to my newsletter. It all depends on what you want. Or maybe I just want them to learn more about my business. So if I just click on learn more about my business, they can watch a video or learn more. And if I click on the learn more here and click on next, it will ask me to add my website link. So once you go click on learn more, all I want Facebook to do is to take them to my blog. So I just click add the address to my website here and click on save and then click on finish. So now this has been created. Once somebody click on this learn more button, it takes them directly to my blog. And I can start inviting all of my friends. So if I want to invite friends now to like my Facebook page, all I just need to do is to click on see all friends. And Facebook give you the option of selecting all of your friends. And at the moment, Facebook has selected all of the 2,586 friends that I have. 
and if i click on this invite facebook send all this this invite to all of my friends and before you know it um, these friends can start liking my page but i'm not going to do that for because i i don't want to invite random people to like my page this page is going to be basically for my business and i will not want people to randomly like it so that when i start targeting people who are visiting my page i will not be wasting money on ads so that has been created on the services here so as you can see here we have different tabs here different tabs uh, we have the services tab we have the review tab we have the shop tab we have the offer tab the photo tab video tabs these are where you will be finding all like the videos when you start uploading videos into this page you will see them all in your video tabs you see all of the posts you've created here all of the events you've created here and what i want us to do now is to edit the about page so all i need to do is to click on the about page to edit that and this is where we are going to actually edit about page as i told us earlier from the beginning that the category can always be edited uh, you can add up to three categories so we start with this we go to edit now we have social media agency i want to add marketing advertising slash marketing and then and then i will equally add consulting agency so these are the three facebook allow us to add up to three um, categories to the page so these are the three categories i want to deal with i've added that and then it's giving me the option of editing this page information so i just need to click on the edit page information now mm -hmm. so facebook now is now asking us to complete our bad section so people can find a product which is very very important so what you offer what do you offer what is are your services all about um, what are the things that you do you are going to put a brief description here of up to the limit you can give is 255 characters um, so we are going to in 255 characters we are going to describe all about our business so we are going to do that and actually put in here and indeed other information that are needed here so briefly I just added a description about me um, about my business and what I offer and how I help people to grow and scale their businesses online. So um, the next thing is just to click on save changes. And once this is saved, the next thing now is to add phone number. All you just need to do is to click on your country code here. Um, select the country by typing in Nigeria here. And then select in Nigeria and then you put in your phone number here. If you don't want this number to be visible, you just click on, um, you don't want to add any number, just click on uh, my page doesn't have a phone number, but it's necessary that you add a phone number here so that people can easily contact you if you want that. And then the address of your website, you are going to put here. So I just go to my website, copy the address, and then come back here and paste um, the address here. Um, if you don't have a website, you can just go ahead and click on my page doesn't have a website and click on save changes. And then for an email, you are going to equally add that here. So I just go ahead and add up my email here and click on save changes. So that has been added. And you go ahead and type in your address proper so that Google will be able to, uh, so that Facebook will be able to place that on the map. You type your address and then select where the address is presently and then put that on the map here and click on save changes. So if customer visit your address, um, if customer can visit your address, you can go ahead and check this and then save changes. And then the hours that you open, you can always arrange that here. But for now, just say always open and save changes. These other ones can be the way they are. So for now, we are done with this. All I just need to do is to click on close. so here is where you can add a story about your business or what you do presently so um if you, you want to do that all you just need to do by now you might have written up a story that you want to add up here so you just click here to um tell people about your story so add up a title here you can go ahead and add about your business here and you just 
go keep on writing here there's no limit to what you can actually write here you just write here is a brief about here is what you're going to add in details about what your business offer and what you do you can add images you can add titles or subtitles and you can just drag an image and drop here so all i just need to do the image i want to drop here is the the one we use for a cover page that we downloaded earlier so um just go to where the image is and then drag it and drop here so automatically facebook um, just drops in that image if it is too big you can always drag and resize it and position it the way you want and when you are done you can save or just publish it immediately once you publish it it will be live to everybody that visits your page so take out your time and add a description a detailed um step-by-step -step description of what your business is all about that is what you are going to do on this your about section that we just edited now so once people visit your page and they are on your about page this is what they are going to see about your story what you offer and the rest so um in a nutshell we've been able to um set up a facebook fan page we now have a page that we can actually start using to run our facebook ad now what i want to equally say here is now that you've created your page oftentimes when you post and uh, make any post on this page facebook will automatically recommend that you promote that post that you've made um, as you can see i'm on the post tab like the image we added was added as a post and all of this uh, i have i will have this here now by default facebook recommends you from here that you boost the page now because i'm going to walk you step by step on how to actually create a facebook um, ads and how to run ads there's no need of you boosting here the, the the post here so the best thing is to use your ad platform the advertising the facebook ad management platform to actually do that because um it offers a whole lot of robust features that you can use to do that so you don't need to actually boost any post from your page here um this you may not get um all of the features that you need to actually run this ad here you can boost it and get a, a decent result but i don't recommend it i prefer you use the ad manager to actually do that so for now you don't need to boost anything here in our next video i'm going to take you on a tour on what you need to know about the ad manager and all the different objective in the ad manager and how best to use it so that when you want to boost a post instead of just boosting it here you go to the ad manager to actually do that i hope this video was helpful um i hope to see you in the next video and enjoy it